Hello everyone. So um, this video, I want to do a update on the uh, the AMD uh, 7900 XT compatibility issue with DaVinci Studio uh, Resolve Studio. Now, if you remember, uh, a few weeks ago, I did bought my brand new 7900 XT from AMD, <clears throat> and uh, immediately I had problems using that with DaVinci uh, Resolve Studio. The the Resolve Studio would freeze up when during video playback and uh, I posted a alternative workaround which is using the older driver or download the newest DaVinci Resolve 18.5 beta. Now <coughs> today I checked on AMD um, Adrenaline uh, homepage and I found out that actually a brand new update is available and this update actually um, claims to address the problem with DaVinci Resolve Studio hanging up due to uh, excessive VRAM usage and a whole bunch of other weird issues during video playback. See right here, fixed issues. So um, I do have the DaVinci Resolve uh, 18.5 Beta 3 installed and I'm gonna actually download this driver, update it, and then we're gonna go into Resolve Studio 18.5 uh, 18 Beta 3 and try to see if it, it still hands up or not because um, I just actually tested um, probably like five minutes ago that um, it still got this weird like hanging up issue during video playback on the Resolve uh, 18.5 Beta 3. So let's update and we'll come back uh, and uh, give it a test run and save this newest 23.5.1 uh, release would address that issue finally, okay? All right, guys, so the installation of the new driver is complete. Um, let's go into the adrenaline edition of the app and see the app is uh, right now up to date. So that's great. And we're going to go to the DaVinci uh, Resolve right now and see if the video playback issue still persists. I hope not. Uh, then I would be able to finish my videos. And again, I'm running the public beta 3, which is the newest release of the DaVinci Resolve. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is a video I'm currently working on about guitar review restoration. Um, you guys can see there is a, still some um, weird artifacts like over here. Uh, but when I click on the preview for each timeline during the uh, editing process, it doesn't seem to freeze up anymore. Uh, and another thing I want to test is if I'm changing the the colors, would it freeze or would it actually preview uh, by adjusting? Oh, okay. So it looks like it's it's working perfectly now. Before, when I adjust the contrast, uh, it would actually just freeze uh, right there and doesn't do anything. But now, it seems to be a real time preview. So that is uh, that is great. It does look like it fixed the issue with DaVinci Resolve. In the newest beta okay let's see so I hang again see so I was ch changing the the mid detail level and uh, trying to adjust the, the contrast and it does look like it still hangs and uh, again it went to the blank blank screen so <clears throat> it's still not completely fixed so um, it does look hopeful that they are noticing the issue and trying to address it in the newest driver release from AMD, but the the issue still persists. As you can see, um, the driver still hangs a little bit, like during that change in the in the the mid detail, and then I was trying to pull the contrast and and hang again. Um, let's see, but. At least it's getting better, right? Um, so I think the detail I was setting it at 30. Um, I don't usually change the the mid detail level that much, but it does look like it still hangs just a little bit during that preview. But again, it recovered itself. So you can see the the changes over here in the amount of detail um, in the screen grab. And if I click on different timelines over here, it does change. Okay, so it is. It is at least providing me with a better preview in real time during editing. Okay, 
Um, it's not as, as frustrating as the very beginning where it, it actually hang and gives me an error and then quit the application. Now the application kind of runs. So it's getting better. Is it completely fixed? I don't think so, but it's, it, is it like workable in Resolve? It is, all right? So I would come back and update you guys um, later on if any any more you know updates um, coming up uh, for the AMD driver and if the DaVinci Resolve also comes up with updates that will hopefully address this issue for the AMD graphic card playback. Um, again, over here I'm using the 7900 XT, um, but yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see this issue completely resolved um, in the near future. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful, and if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my video channel. Uh, I will have more updates coming out for you guys in, in regards to the AMD 3900 XT driver issue with the DaVinci Resolve. Okay, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.